Hello, it's Bill again. And today we're gonna to discuss why you can't travel faster than light. So to start this, we need to understand what a particle is because we're talking about particles moving through space at tremendous speed. A particle is not only just the particle expression at the center of its space. Each particle has its own cosmic horizon with 10 to the 122 Planck areas of gravitational energy. It's a very distant, but very large horizon. So what movement really is, is you can't move in your own reference frame. You do not move in your own observable universe. You move in other people's observable universes. So what you're doing when you're moving in your own reference frame is you're matching the recessional velocity of a distant patch of space. Dark energy is moving space away. And the closer you get to your cosmic horizon, the faster it's moving away. So this means that the fastest you can move is matching recessional velocities that are right close to your cosmic horizon. You can't express movement any faster than that because that's your causal extent of recessional velocities you can match. So you're always gonna be short, just short of C. You can't move faster than C because each particle is basically an observable universe and you can't cross your own cosmic horizon because it's your cosmic horizon that projects your spin energy. Imagine a cosmic horizon like a bubble and you're on the inside. It projects it from that inside bubble surface to make the particle at the very center. And that whole thing is a particle and it does not move. You can match recessional Doppler shifts with distant regions that are close to your bubble surface because every other particle in your observable universe that's not being locally gravitated is actually free falling to your cosmic horizons. So this puts an upper li uh, speed limit on matter. You can't even get to see because cosmic horizons are very time dilated, but they never time dilate to zero. So in any case, this is why uh, you can't go faster than light. It's because of the existence of cosmic horizons. And uh, check out the playlist. <clears throat> I have a playlist for gravity. Um, Take a look at that. It discovers or it describes gravity, dark energy, dark matter, and uh, basically the structure of the observable universe. And make sure to leave a comment. And uh, remember, gravity is for the masses. Have a great day.